So I wanted to talk a little bit about the tsunami in Japan and the earthquake that happened. And that was a really, really hard time for me. I mean, everybody was panicking and I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if it was gonna affect where I lived here in America. I didn't know how many people it was affecting in Japan. And all I kept seeing were horrible news stories and reading about people dying in Japan. It was a really hard time. And then they started talking about chemicals in the water and chemicals in the air, and I just didn't know what to think. I started to really freak out. So it got me thinking, I didn't want to be so susceptible to things like earthquakes and tsunamis, but what can you do? I mean, the best thing you can do is not live by the beach, but really, all that you can do is pray that that won't happen, and you can try to take the proper precautions so, I look at things a little bit differently now. I always have the threat in the back of my mind that there could be something that could happen like what happened in Japan with huge earthquake or tsunami happening and I try to stay prepared and I stay alert to what's happening around me and, um, you know, if I can sense anything. It's really hard to tell because you just never know when something like that's going to happen and it affected me greatly, but I am moving forward and I am taking extra precautions uh, to make sure that I can live my best life ever and kind of keep that behind me and move forward.